Hello, I'm Aaron and welcome back to the Last End Gamers channel. So I've got something to show you today, something that I really wish I didn't have to show you, but here in front of me is a machine that breaks the speed limit in Vanilla SE. And you're probably wondering, Aaron, why, why are you showing people this? Well, I came across this by accident on my server. Me and the team had a little bit of a Google and we came across a YouTube video showing how to build this. I'm going to show you how this contraption works and I want your thoughts and comments on exploits like this. The player who built this believed it was some sort of engineering masterpiece. It was the, the next level of SE. But to me and many other players, it's simply just an exploit. Anyway, so over here we have our Turbo Camo, uh, Camel 3000. Uh, over here, we're going to jump ourselves into the cockpit. You can see the, the camera is already broken from my previous experiment to a degree. So as we've got going on here, the Turbo Camo, uh, Camel Camel isn't super quick. It's actually pretty damn slow. And if I blast myself over here, I am not going to exceed 104 the speed limit so let's just try that out we're actually getting to 99 all right so let's turn ourselves around use the turbo can camels down thrust to get us back around there and we're gonna head over to our contraption now I believe you might correct me if I'm wrong here this system works by abusing the 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 shared intention inertia feature so I'll show you this as we we plug ourselves in. Let's try not to crash the camel on the way back. If possible, we are running a little red on the power spectrum. But that's not going to matter once we've done this anyway. So to do this, we're going to dock with this horrible machine. Hopefully, can do something about this and, and stop it from functioning. I don't see it as engineering. Especially when someone comes at you at thou a thousand miles an hour in a fight. Then you don't really have a chance. And it's as simple as doing this. You delete the top panel. Now this ship has turbo speed enabled. It also has a little bit of a rotational bug to it, but a lot of players can overlook that. So watch as we accelerate here. I've just shredded my own tail off with my thruster. Um, you'll have to ignore the camera going away from it, but in first person, it's totally fine. And you can see we are now over the speed limit. We have got past this point. It is not very controllable on this grid, but larger grids, it is far more controllable on. So you can see we've passed the speed limit. We've not done anything special. We've not acted any particular mods. And there we go, we have ourselves a turbo camel really going hard into this rock as well. Oh, there we go. So not super easy to control on that grid, and you can see uh, this is causing a lot of calculation issues already. And that's why it's not suitable for the server. It's not an engineering masterpiece, this is just abusing game physics, and I'd almost call it cheating to a degree. Um, if you use that speed to hit someone else's grid, who knows what would happen, you might phase through them or even worse. Anyway, let's go back. We've got a larger grid here with a little bit more thrust. We'll teleport ourselves over and we're going to do exactly the same again. Now, we were getting some lag spikes on the server and we were confused about exactly what was going on and, and this could could be the culprit of it here. So, we're connecting up to this machine once again. Everything has frozen for a second. Alright, so it centers camera-wise off into the abyss. We'll eject ourselves out. I can already see the inertia tension not enjoying this grid at all one bit. So we pop that off. Let's see if it proves true for this. So this is a bit more of a stable grid as it has more thrusters directing it in various different directions. And I can feel that the tension has been shared with this grid as we are starting to tilt to one side. This has less of an effect when you enter into space. So there we go, we're over the speed limit again. You might be thinking, oh, well, Aaron, it's not controllable. If you build your grid in mind, it can be rather controllable. You can you can move around. You can see I'm going to be going down into the grids here. I'm going to have to work out how to pull up. Oh, there we go. So we've managed to crash it again. And you can see the inertia tension is starting to take over that grid. If you build a grid, though, with this system in mind, like some players have been doing and trying to exploit, then you won't run into this rotational flipping issue. Interesting. It's, it's a big worry. Definitely an exploit, and I would hate to see it on the server. In fact, anyone I do catch doing stuff like this on our servers, we do have to kick off. So to get one of these up and operational, I know I know the exploiters are bloody going to love this, aren't they? They're showing you how to build it together, but I'm going to show you because then maybe Keen or maybe someone else can look at it and go, well, here's a fix for it. We can stop that from happening. So we get ourselves a rotor, we get ourselves a reactor, we need some power of course for it. We could do, you know what, we can even do this by the battery I'm guessing. Yeah, let's get ourselves a battery there and then we don't have to even plop any uranium in. We pop the car off the top there, 
we go into here, we add onto our rotor a small head. We then, of course, weld our small head up. There we go. Small head is welded up, ready to operate. Then, of course, we need a large hinge. So get yourself a hinge. Like that. We place that over there. Then we pop out the core of the hinge. And this is... It, it's so simple and straightforward, but the effects of this on a server, or even in combat, if someone is going at these speeds, it's, it's going to be impossible to stop them. Especially with all the, the physics calculations just being thrown to one side. So we, we've got it up to this area, and I believe it is two across, and then we can add the hinge. No, it's, is it four across? One more? Let's add that. I, I feel like all the blocks are going in camel colours as well. So we're going to align that like so. So that's align that into there. We go back down to this blocks, and this this could be a useful thing in its own, attaching a small to a large hinge. So we've got the hinge. We're scrolling down. You see, it's not on that one. And as we do that, it will lock across onto the other one, but still being locked into this one at the same time. Very very concerning. Next up, we're going to add ourselves a merge block, like so on the end. There's a little merge block for us. And that is it. That is how the system is set up. We need to finally go to the hinge. We share the inertia ten attentioner and we also lock the hinge. And we have built ourselves the contraption. Of course, we, we could have it going up to the side. We could do it whatever. Let me know what you think of this in the comment section below. To me, this is a stupid exploit with, with dire consequences to both the server and other people who are playing with it. Hopefully Keen will do something about this. Anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.